la prosekete posike zime si prokosokota jakote prakosekete pakoseketa jekete pakosokote prakosiketa jekete prakosokota mize prakosokota libro zekete mosokota mikete prakosokota Crazy pekete pa jikete pa kosokota libro zekete pa kosiketa je pra kosokote pa kosokota in the name of Jesus Welcome once again to yet another presentation inside the word of the Lord and praying that all those that have been given the opportunity once again to be in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ you are being given this opportunity in his glorious presence so that you amend your ways you perfect your ways your imperfections are the reasons why you have been allowed in the presence of, in the presence of him that lives forever in the presence of him and that gives us countless opportunities we are all gathered in his presence because we seek that level of perfection. We strive for His presence. We strive to do that which will give us the way to eternal life, the way to the eternal dimensions, and the way to the everlasting life. Today, I've been assigned once again by the Holy Spirit with yet another deep exposure which before i came before you i've been praying i've been meditating so that this presentation is going to be of spiritual beneficence unto each and every soul that is going to be a partaker unto each and every soul that is going to have an opportunity to hear this presentation i pray that you are going to be given the wisdom the knowledge the divine counsel the depth of this presentation and the exposure and the intended purpose behind the exposure so that you gain the necessary knowledge at the end of the day today i want to talk about the seven princes of hell the seven princes of hell and in the seven princes of hell i'm going to be exposing all the seven princes of hell according to their categories all these seven princes of hell they represent one entity one entity that is called the devil the devil is not a single entity but the devil is a representation of multiple significances that represent one entity the devil is not only one entity he is a representation of spiritual entities inside one entity i know so many times when we talk about the devil we are talking about the fall of lucifer and at one moment we are talking about satan at one moment we are talking about the devil i remember explaining about the three levels of devils it's a sermon that is on youtube i remember talking about the triangle influence where i talked about the three devils so today i want to explode into the dimension of the seven devils not just the seven devils but the seven princes of darkness the seven princes of hell and these are the seven that are behind the seven origins of sins i remember explaining also about the seven origins of sins uh, that presentation is there on youtube i remember talking about the seven strongholds from the dry places who are ushered by the seven princes that presentation is on youtube and these seven they oppose the seven spirits of god meaning that before the fall of lucifer in actual fact if i take you to the book of revelations 12 which was not part of my passage but i'll just uh, scroll through 
using narration. It says there was a war in heaven. And this war that happened in heaven, there was a dragon, and this dragon had seven heads. These seven heads represented the seven princes. And they were being led by their leader. Who was their leader? I'm now exposing the seven princes, and I believe that all of you that are listening, you are going to hear each and every prince who is representing the kingdom of darkness in the seven realms of the influence of evil. They were being led by Lucifer. But according to the book of Revelation 12, it says a dragon that had seven heads. And this dragon that had seven heads, it wrestled against Michael the archangel. And Michael the archangel had also his own seven princes from the realms of the seven heavens. And these, they fought against the seven princes who were yet to fall, who are already fallen. And before the fall, these seven princes, before they fell, they were also leading an army of different delegations of fallen angels which are already fallen. And the war that transpired in heaven was between Lucifer and Michael. Lucifer and Michael, they were given specific roles in heaven above princes. Though they are princes, but I want you to know that princes, they are delegated at different levels of influence. This is why even regional, provincial, international, intercontinental, principalities, they are given specific influences which cover according to the sphere the atmosphere the boundaries the influence of the nation of the country so the principality of europe and the principality of africa those are two different principalities i was just giving you that reference so that you understand uh, the way that i'm categorizing princes so angel michael representing the armies of heaven represents a prince in the heavenly dimensions you remember the war that transpired in the realms when daniel was praying in daniel chapter 10. it was pitting princes the princes of persia the princes of nations and gabriel was withheld for 21 days and the reason why gabriel was held for 21 days is because gabriel does not represent the angelic prince of war but the angelic prince of messages so he needed an angelic prince in the realm of wars an angelic prince that is elevated in the realm of wars now i'm still on the seven princes of hell so i had to take you back before they even fell there was a war that was that transpired in heaven and this war that transpired in heaven it was between angel michael and lucifer lucifer led his other six to make them seven and angel michael led also his other six to to make them seven but behind these seven behind these seven on both sides there were legions of angels there were legions of angels that fell and there were legions of angels that remained in place there were legions of angels that were dethroned alongside the seven princes that were being led by lucifer the devil but my emphasis my emphasis is emphatically on the seven princes that then fell who are the significance of this presentation who are also the significance of the intercession in the war against the seven princes which is currently on now i'll start with the lucifer who is the ruler of hell the ruler of hell how how, how did lucifer become the ruler of hell is because lucifer fell with his position as the ruler of the seven including himself as an entity and before he fell which is not another uh, reference that i want to dwell much on 
you know why i don't want to dwell into it why because i'll start to explain the fall of lucifer this is something that i've always said if you are listening to the revelator presentation there should be another presentation that you you should have listened to so that when i start explaining these things i don't have to summarize the message but you have to update the knowledge that you have received with another level of knowledge or with another information or with another same presentation that you once received there is a presentation that i once uh, shared which was called the fall of lucifer it was actually in a series formation and i presented another one which was lengthy it stretched up to one hour in the of 2024 so i'm not going to dwell again about the fall of lucifer we know how lucifer fell after he wanted to be like the most high god and in his quest of wanting to be like the most high god according to the book of isaiah where he wanted to ascend to the mount congregation on the sides of the north and then the armies of heaven fought against him uh, ushered by prince angel michael lucifer is dethroned from the heavenly places but he does not fall alone he falls with the other six and he is the seventh when i'm saying he's the seventh i I don't mean he's the last he represents the pillar between the other six angels so he's in the central position on the right hand he's got the three realms of the fallen princes on his left side he has got the three realms again of the other fallen which i'm going to be exposing one by one and even their names they've got names every angel that fell from the heavenly places has got a name every angel that fell from the heavenly places has got a name it was given a name by god just like you yourself you have got a name there is no demon without a name there is no angel without a name even god himself he has got multiple names all these angels all these demons they've got names i'm not talking about the names whereby you end up naming them according to their influences i'm not talking about the names whereby you end up naming them according to their uh, operations or or their chaos their mayhem which they influence specific names which they were given even before they fell just like lucifer is the morning star the morning star it was the influence who dramatized light but he wanted to dramatize light more than the light itself and the light is jesus who was the prince of peace by then jesus was the prince of peace but jesus was the chosen prince of peace above all princes and lucifer believed that he had greater light more than jesus why because jesus sat on the right hand side of the father meaning that lucifer had the specific role on the left hand side of the father and then he would ascend and descend and whenever he would ascend and descend he would meet the dead meaning that lucifer had the specific role on the left hand side of the father and then he would ascend and descend and whenever he would ascend and descend he would meet the delegation of the six the delegation of the six is the six other princes that he fell with who led the failed coup the failed coup that was a plot against jesus who sat on the right hand side of the father they wanted to lead that coup but they did not know that jesus is using the direct authority from god they did not know that jesus as the prince of peace jesus was the prince of peace and still remains as the prince of peace but is no longer regarded as a prince is now the king of kings after having qualified to dethrone lucifer in his home ground which is his home ground the earth where he was cast down so i'm going to be also touching on the temptation which is in luke chapter 4 verse 1 to 11 And you know that when Jesus was driven into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit to be tempted, he was tempted 
by all these seven devils but they were given specific categories of influence within one entity which is called the devil and within one entity which is called the devil they were all given a certain specific point where they were given an opportunity to attempt during the three temptations but before i go there into that scripture i'm still defining who is lucifer the morning star before he became the ruler of hell he was a shining light a bright star a morning star the ruler of hell his influence when he then fell upon being anointed to fall he had to be anointed to fall he did not only get anointed with the light to inspire in the heavenly dimensions he was also anointed to fall why because when he was now being anointed to fall he was now being given another level of influence which was negative and this influence of being the morning star some people still believe that he no longer has it he still has it apostle paul says no marvel for lucifer appears as an angel of light meaning that he is able to transform himself and deceive christianity and deceive the saints and jesus says in these last days he almost has the capacity he almost have the capacity to deceive even the elect so lucifer being the first entity which is the head of the seven is followed by Beelzebub. Beelzebub is the second prince of hell who is Beelzebub? i'm not going to be taking you into scriptures why because if i take you into scriptures uh, it will take us a very long time to finish this presentation i know what happens when i dwell into each and every scripture i explode in different dimensions because all these princes they can be exploited in different sermon presentations in different sermon presentations exposing their operations who's busy purple the Pharisees at one moment they accused Jesus as Beelzebub. And how did they accuse Jesus? They accused Jesus as Beelzebub. Who's Beelzebub? Beelzebub. How do I know that Beelzebub is the prince of devils? Beelzebub is the prince of devils. Not the prince of devils only, but the prince of evil spirits. After the Pharisees had accused Jesus of using the prince of devils to cast out the devils, and Jesus said, How can I use? How can I be of the devil? How can the devil fight against his own kingdom? When Jesus is, is saying, How can the devil fight against his own kingdom? He's responding to the criticism that has been raised by the Pharisees. The Pharisees are actually the devils, the Pharisees are actually the evils. Now they were trying to accuse Jesus so that they could confuse the masses and Jesus says how will the kingdom of the devil stand how will the kingdom of darkness stand if I be a devil that is fighting against my own kingdom and that was after Jesus has driven out the devils so even the Pharisees in all their criticism, they knew Beelzebub. They knew that Beelzebub is a prince of devils. In their ignorance of not wanting to know who Jesus is, they knew about Beelzebub, who is the second prince of hell after Lucifer. Beelzebub operates in corruption all the corruptions that you can ever think of under the sun all the corruption all the corrupt people that you can ever think of under the sun i'll start with the politicians in every nation especially in my own nation so that i become emphatical every politician that is corrupt any person that is greedy and selfish builds a bubble 
is the influencer. Beelzebub is the influence of all manner of corruption. Not all manner of corruption, but deceit. You know how deceitful these politicians are. How they are able to promise you what they never do. How they are rising. How they are elevated through greed and selfish ambitions. And then the third prince of hell is Satan. So many people have confused the difference between Satan and Lucifer. Those are two different princes. Those are two different princes. Satan and Lucifer are two different princes. Satan is the prince of wrath. Satan is the prince of darkness. Every works of darkness that fall under darkness, Satan is the head. This is why many people, they fear Satanism. The definition of darkness begins with the Satanism, and Satan is the influencer of darkness in the works of Satanism. The portal of darkness is defined by Satan. Satan markets darkness. The inspiration of darkness, the influence of darkness is defined by Satan as the third prince in the pit of hell. And then there is Azazel. Azazel was explained by Enoch. Azazel is explained in the book of Enoch, one of the princes that led the sons of God that entered into the daughters of men. Azazel, being one of the princes of hell, represents a dimension of sexual immorality, sexual perversion. All manner of sexual immorality and sexual perversion is defined by Azazel. All the initiations, all the cult of sexual immorality actions that have happened under the sun, they have been influenced by Azazel. All the sexual demonic operations, all the perversions in the young people in this last generation, all the fornication and adultery, Azazel is behind all the operations and the operations of all these princes they are so uniformed it's like a chain of command they don't oppose each other but they they operate as a unified system of several operations uh, operations of darkness in the seven dimensions of evil then the fifth one is belial in the scriptures we are told about the sons of belial and in the sons of Belial, they are known as the sons of rebellion. The prince of deceit, trickery, manipulation. Belial means rebellion. Belial means disobedience. We are in the last generation where people don't want anything to do with God. We are in the last generation where the youthful people have become so stubborn. We are in the last generation where people's hearts have been hardened. We are in the last generation where you cannot easily win souls back to God. We are not supposed to be winning souls back to God. Why? Because all these souls, they belong to God. And all these souls belonging to God, it has become difficult to bring people in the presence of God. It has become a task to bring the people of God into the presence of God. Why? Because Belial represents rebellion. Belial represents arrogance. Belial represents stubbornness. And then the prince uh, that is on number six is Asmodeus. 
Asmodeus represents the prince of lust. Asmodeus that represents the prince of lust represents all manner of seductions, all manner of immorality. In this world, we've got many men, married men and youthful men. This is why you can hardly find a man that is married that is not cheating. In this world, we've got men that have been defiled by the various sexual immoralities. It's not only prostitutes that are signified through females. No. Prostitutes can also be found in males. We've got male prostitutes now. We now have male prostitutes. Many that actually sell their bodies, many that actually have a service provision of satisfying women that are sex hungry, men that have been defiled by Asmodeus. Asmodeus is a prince of lust who, when he enters into the young men, the young men are sleeping with the sex hungry married women. The young men are destroying marriages. The young men are operating. So, as much as represents all men of lust, greed, and gambling, the is as much as is a destroyer. As much as represents all seductions that are influenced in males. Asmodeus is a prince that rules above using adultery fornication, using polygamous marriages, using all manner of lust that is entered men and defiled women then the seventh prince is leviathan leviathan is a dragon monster a representative of the prince of the sea the prince of the sea a sea monster And the prince of jealousy, pride, and envy who submits also under Lucifer, under the marine kingdom. All manner of evil that comes from the sea, all manner of evil that is influenced from the sea, it is influenced by Leviathan. Leviathan is known as the dragon from the sea. This is why Lucifer is defined as a dragon. This is why Lucifer is defined as a serpent. Leviathan is the head of all serpents. Leviathan is the head of the marine kingdom. He is the beast of the marine kingdom who only submits under Lucifer. As I'm breaking down this chain, according to the influences of the seven princes of hell. Leviathan also is influenced by pride, just like all these seven. They are influenced by pride. All these seven, they are also influenced by greed. All these seven, they are also influenced by Eve, by the influences of darkness. Child of God, I'm praying that you have understood you these seven princes that I have explained here and their influences. I have explained all these princes in different presentations, in different influences of sermon presentations which are there on YouTube. You can all. You can always search 
Now, all these seven, they have structured their kingdom in hell. And they operate globally. And how do they operate globally? Each prince has got a legion of demons and evil spirits that he has delegated to the world. Each prince has got a legion of armies. And their delegations, they are specific in different uh, continents. And their influence goes beyond to affect all the operations that are here on earth. As the voice that has been sent unto the seven churches, inspired by the seven spirits of God, I've also been sent by the Holy Spirit to raise those that will be inspired by the seven spirits of God, having seven different abilities that oppose these seven princes. You cannot oppose the seven spirits of evil. You cannot oppose the seven princes of hell if you don't have the seven spirits of God. Why? Because each and every one of these seven, they represent destruction. They represent mayhem. And I'm praying that in this presentation, you have been blessed in the name of Jesus. Likose projike te mosoko de mosike te prako shikeda la braze ke te mosiki mia shike te prako sokoda maje ke te prako soko de pako shikeda le brazo ko ze ke te mosoko te mosikada mi ke te prako sokoda jako te prako soko te pako shikeda greze pe ke te mosikada li brazo ko te mosikada krazo pe ke te pako shikeda keda libro sokote pakosoko demoshikada mia sekete bosokota